Hello! Okay, I asked on my Snapchat if you guys were interested in seeing a collective haul because I've accumulated a lot of stuff. I was actually gathering the items today and it's like kind of a lot. And you guys said yeah. Um, a few of you guys snapped back and a couple of you guys kind of took a still shot which I asked you guys to do. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, oh no. So if you don't follow me on Snapchat, definitely follow me. I try my best to post as often as I can because it's just quicker and faster and easier and fun. Um, so follow me. So this is an accumulation of like a couple months, just like newer products to me that I hadn't had. Um, and also some repurchases, which I think is fun too. This was what I got at, I think it was Ulta or Sephora, I can't remember. But it's the Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer. And this, um, I just put it in the packaging and I'll save it for you guys. Um, but this is, um, comes in like a little wand guy and I like it a lot. I have used this uh, s quite some time now. But it's definitely like a color that's deeper. So they have different skin tones. They have a light and they have a, is this deeper or medium? What did it say? What did it say? Shit. Oh, this is medium slash deep. So they do come in like different tones, which is nice because um, I like my primers to be light, but I don't need them to be like white, you know? I don't have any complaints about them. I don't have anything amazing to say about it either. I just needed something new because I let my sister borrow, take my paint pot. Then I got a bunch of backups for my Maybelline, my favorite, oi! My favorite um, mascara. So this one is the waterproof version. This is the regular version, which I'm like kind of regretting, but I'm just trying to have it. Um, this I got at Marshall's. It was on sale for $6, which is cool because like one of these is actually about $6. And then this one I got at Ulta. So I love this. This is my favorite mascara. This is the mascara I only ever, always, forever use. Oh, and I got a new, another mascara, which I haven't tried yet because I'm like trying to get rid of some of my mascaras and go through them. But this is a waterproof one. This is the Lash Sensational Maybelline. This is supposed to be amazing. I hear a lot of really good things about it. So I'm excited to use it. The wand is very similar to the Falsies. Uh, it doesn't show it, but... It has that kind of like that curve, which I like because I like to get like the curve really close to the base. So I'm excited to try this one. I haven't tried it yet. Then um, I got a couple of setting sprays. I don't know why I was into the setting spray kick. Um, I posted about this on Snapchat. I just showed a picture. But um, I'm still testing this L'Oreal one out. This one is their setting spray. Uh, I like, I love the way the, it looks. Like I'm not a sucker for packaging or anything like that, but I love the way it looks. It just looks so like sleek and like... I don't know, it looks awesome. And then I also got the Mario Budescu Rose Water Spray. This one um, smells really yummy. I've used it a few times. I remember I gave this to my mom. Well, I had it, I had mine. And then I gave it to my mom, but then I kind of really wanted it, so I just repurchased it. So this might look familiar if you've seen my Snapchat haul. I'm liking these so far. I'm not really seeing anything crazy, but I just like the way it makes my face feel. I've had a lot of like face issues lately. Like I had a whole... Uh, skin heat rash for a week and a half almost and um, my skin was so dry and it felt really bad so I've been trying to use these guys because they just feel good um, and they don't they don't give you like that like shininess that the fix plus will these don't at least um, they're just kind of like they they're not mattifying but they're also not like shiny kind of dewy-fying then at Ulta I got or was it Target I, no it was Target I got the Up and Up Acne Wash Pink Grapefruit version. Um, this I got because I've been working out a lot lately and like my back has not been so hot and I need it to be really nice um, for February when I get married. I'm not trying to give away any hints about my dress but um, my back needs to look flawless and so I'm trying to buy this and it's so hard to reach back so what I need to buy is one of those like long loofah things that you can stretch back there. But it sucks. Like, I can't, like, figure out. Like, I can't look. I can't... How, how do you guys... If, if anybody has had, like, back uh, pimple issues, how did you fix it? And, like, what did you use? What did work? What didn't work? And stuff like that. Like, I'm, I'm open. I've been using this for a little bit. And um, it hasn't been working, like... Man. Actually, on my chest, it has been working really well. Um, I just can't tell on my back because I can't see. Uh, and then at Marshall's, I bought... I'm bouncing around from stores, so I'm not gonna... Um, I can't. But at Marshall's, I bought this little set, and it, like, fell apart. But this was the um, essential oil set, and this is Tisserin or something. I don't know. I can't remember how much this was. I thought I had the packaging, but I guess I left it. So I've just been um, 
wanted to try some oils. I don't have that little aerator thing, but I want to like mix this in some things. And um, I know the eucalyptus one, I actually have a water uh, spray that my brother-in-law gave me one time when I was really sick. And like you spray it in the hot shower when the steam and it like infuses the air like intense so that you can kind of breathe easier and this is a eucalyptus one so I want to make my own so I can have some more to use and then the lavender one mm, smells so good I think the lavender one is the same as my moisturizer which I'll show you guys but um, lavender smells so yummy it's my favorite eucalyptus reminds me of my mom so does lavender t-shirt oil smells okay I don't love it but that's just kind of fun to try I really don't know how to use them if you guys have suggestions on how to use them tell me. A, a while ago actually I went to Lush and I bought a bunch, bunch of um, like bath bombs. I have yet to use them. I'm just not a bath person but I really wanted to be. So I got these two. Let's see what are these. I don't know what they're called but one it looks like this. I don't know what that smells like. And one looks like this. Oh are they the same? Okay well they're the same. I got one for me and my fiance, so I don't know if he's used it yet, but, well, no, he hasn't used it yet, it's right there. So we haven't used it yet, but I want to use it. The Vanishing Cream, which is my moisturizer, is the facial moisturizer. So this moisturizer is a very, it's, it's, it is definitely lavender. I, I remember I used it once in my video, and I was like, I don't know what smell it is, it's lavender. Um, but it comes like that, and it smells so good. Um, it lingers just a little bit, not, not crazy. It makes my face feel really moisturized, but not oily, which I love. Cause it does like my face sometimes gets really tight in certain areas and this just like I like this moisturizer a lot I just wish it came like a little pump version I might like transfer it on something but the woman was like well the good thing is that you can get every last drop and I was like okay fine and this is oh I love this um this is fairly new to me still but I have used it a, quite a lot wait let me see yeah kind of this smells like rose oops did I get my this is basically a moisturizer for in your shower. So what you do is you, you like grab a bunch on your fingers, you put it in the areas, and you like really lather it and like kind of make sure it goes really deep in your skin. Any areas you want really soft or maybe if you don't like putting moisturizer after showers, like I don't and I, ugh, it's the worst, I hate it. But this like, so you do that and then you just kind of like let the water run through and like let it kind of wash off. Don't try to rinse it off, but just like let it wash it away and your skin was like it's like buttery smooth it feels so good afterwards so I, I remember I had a very small sample of this a long time ago and I was like yeah that works great but I just like forgot about it but I saw the big size and I was like oh shoot I gotta get that and I'm so happy I have it especially during winter I'm like a scaly a-hole and um, this is gonna really help me so this is the um, Rose Argan body conditioner so skin conditioner this is awesome and I love it I would Recommend that to any girl who hates putting on moisturizer, especially in the winter. I bought this Tom's deodorant. I thought this had, like, this was all safe, but I think this has a very small amount of an aluminum. Uh, my sister told me. So anyways, we're just trying to be a little bit safer, but um, this is okay, actually. It's not as strong as all the other deodorants, which is good, but um, it still kind of maintains and it doesn't... I don't, I'm not left feeling like, stinky or anything, which is good. I got this eye makeup remover. I don't love it. I think I just what I'm what I'm I'm having an issue with is why they have these big this big hole. Why can't it be a small one with like a little thing so you can kind of like like do one of these in the cotton pad or the cotton round? I think they're just like so used to people with a cotton ball, but like. I just don't get it. So I'm. Uh, this is like the one that I'm kind of satisfied with. I bought the Sonia Kashuk one. I returned it because they were they were like the same. They didn't perform any differently to me. And the Sonia Kashuk one was more expensive, so I just returned that one. And then I also had. Oh, I still have it somewhere over there. I also had this like cream from Garnier that a um, Snapchat friend told me about, but it just didn't. I. Uh, I don't know what about it, it just wasn't that amazing. I just, for me, the, the, the work that you had to put in it was just too much and I, it didn't work as amazing as I wanted it to for the work that I'm putting into it. So I returned that one too. At Ulta, I lost the cap in the box, but this is the Pacifica perfume in Tuscan Blood Orange. It smells so good, like so, oh wait, I have a Lush one too. Hold on. Um, the Pacifica Orange, Blood Orange perfume, it smells so good. I mean, it smells like citrus. Like, if you like citrus smells, like uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue, you might like this. Like, this is very much, like, 
fruity but citrusy so it's not like super sweet it's very I love it's so good I love it it just doesn't linger on as as long as a perfume this one this one doesn't and then I also from Lush got this perfume they had like um like some other line I don't remember what this is maybe it's the Lush line yeah so this is the uh it's called Sun but basically it smells like light uh lemons or lime like yeah, the yellow one I never know because in Spanish I say both I don't know but again, she said that it doesn't linger as much because of the lime and the citrus. So then I bought a bunch of these Sephora, well, at Sephora, these beauty blenders for my kit. I, they're just so much better for application on other people. They just, you don't have to work as hard. They kind of work for you. Um, with the Real Techniques ones, I felt like you just had to like really, it has to be the right consistency, the consistency, the right amount of water in it. And this one just like does it and it's easy and it's that's what I needed. So I'm so happy I have those. Then I went into the beauty supply store and I needed um, like some razors like for my um, eyebrows. And I saw they had a ton of LA Girl stuff. Um, and I've been wanting to try these forever. I got my sister one of those melted ones from Too Faced? I don't remember the brand. What's the brand? Anyways, the melted lips. You know what I'm talking about. I bought it for her birthday and she loves it and she always wears it. And I never actually played with it. I just knew that I thought like if I wanted a gift, I'd buy that. I bought it for her, but I never really played with them. So they had a few colors, and this was the one color that I was like, okay, I'm into it. So I haven't really played around with it yet, but um, it kind of reminds me of a lip tar. Like it's really thick. Like I have pinks and stuff, but this was like pretty. And so I haven't played with that yet. But if you guys are, if you guys wear LA Girl concealers, they have a bunch there. I just have no idea what my color is. I'm an NC42. NC40 and if you guys are near that color or can guess up to what color I should buy for concealer under my eyes so like not a little bit lighter like maybe like an NC35 or NC40 or something like that let me know what color is a good one because I just I don't know, look it up I just want to like read my comments and see hopefully and then I bought a bunch of these guys um, these Kirkland wipes they're my favorite wipes ever if this was like an aversion of a little tube it would be perfect like if this was like if all this stuff was squished out into this little tube, it would be perfect. Um, but these kind of get stuck in my eyeballs, a little little fibers, so I don't use them all up in my eye. But these are the best, and I love them. And I bought a whole new box of cute. Oi! Oh, I thought it fell. A whole new box of, box of cute tips. Um, cute tips are the best. I need them all the time. If there's not one in my ear, there's one in the other ear. And if it's not on my ear, it's wiping my foundation away from my beauty mark and. That's pretty much all I use my Q-tips for. I love Q-tips and I go through them like crazy. So yeah, that's my haul. And I know it's accumulative. I won't be doing these a lot. I don't really go the haul in. Um, but I wanted to just gather my stuff so it can feel like a haul, you know? Thanks for watching my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.